Hi, today is April 8th, which also happens to be my birthday. Um, we're just kind of moseying around, changing out some round bales today and enjoying this beautiful weather because it's supposed to get um, cold again tomorrow for 10 days or so, which kind of stinks. But uh, as you can see, Jason's over there getting in the skid steer, ready to uh, bring in a bale for these girls. Well, we'll go ahead and do that and get on with our day. These girls over here in this pen, they're all like, I want some too. I want some. Sorry ladies, not for you. They gotta clean up this old yucky stuff first. And then I think we're gonna come over here with a skid steer and try and clean up all this mud that uh, accumulated over the winter time. So we'll go ahead and take care of this and get the uh, new one set up. So we've had, I don't know, four or five decent days of good weather. And well, I'm loving it, the flies are out already. It's since we had a mild winter this year, flies are gonna be bad this summer and I'm really not looking forward to, forward to it. Parasites will probably be bad too. Um, you know, it's good and bad to mild winters. I mean, nothing freezes, so that's good. But then the summertime is bad. back to get the bucket.
get out of there. Coronavirus quarantine. We have kids that think they're goats because they're not in school. That's what we do during the day. Pretend people are goats. Hey, at least they have an imagination, right? <laughs> Thank you.
right, so we got the bail in place and we um, tried to get that mud cleaned up as best we could. Um, now I'll go in and let the girls back out. Well, you can see we tried to get it cleaned up as best we could. Uh, hopefully it dries up more as, uh, as we get better weather. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to keep doing the round bale thing or not. Um, I'm just really worried about the mess attracting flies. And we obviously don't need any more flies on a farm. We don't need to help them breed, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So let's go over here and we'll get the girls let out and um, close the gate and all that good stuff. So we'll, we'll do all that. Um, this has been kind of a crazy crazy spring year in general I saw Jason's having fun tearing up the little field here he's back by the river <coughs> pushing some trees up I think so we'll come over here and we'll go through this pasture and go into the barns and let out the let that pen back out. So we got these ladies in here with their babies. And this pen, we pulled the mud out of this pen last week, I think, and it's so much better. It's dry now. Nobody's walking in muck. Um, so all that up there was all yucky and gross and we pulled all the the mud out of there and everybody's so much happier now they're clean I don't know why this is down here on the ground pick that up put it back up there But the Lacey's at back outside. She uh, she had toxemia, and then she was pretty sick for about three weeks after she had her kids because she had retained placenta. And I put her back out yesterday. She's pretty thin, but I'm so happy that she's walking around and doing good. Oh, oh, and her baby's yawning. <laughs> well, we got two left to go. That fat one right there. And then the other one, I think. Oh, yeah, she's laying down right next to her. So those two are the last two left to go. And then we'll be done for spring kidding. And we'll start breeding for fall. And we weaned some this past weekend. All right, let's go let the other the girls outside. I had to work on a, a gate real quick. So we'll go ahead and let them out. And I have to clean pens and go on about my day. Oh, I gotta pick this mess up in here too with the hay from the round bale that we took outside. Hi, girls. We all ready to go out? Oh, 
open the door up. Gotta grab some. Alright, thanks for uh, coming along on our little yucky, smelly adventure today. <laughs> Have the little tots here. They're, uh, I think they're ready, anxious for school to get started again, but we'll see what happens. Not. Not. Not.